music showed it could become the collective voice of nationhood. This, for good and for ill, has been an important function of music ever since. Handel donated all the earnings from his messiah and most of his considerable estate to an orphanage, the Foundling Hospital. Gestures which give us a clue as to the quality that enriches every note of his music, compassion. One of his final oratorios, Solomon, contains towards its end an aria for the Queen of Sheba. Now she is bidding farewell to her lover, King Solomon, whom she'll never see again as he returns to Jerusalem. The aria, Will the Sun Forget to Streak, is no hysterical outburst of operatic tragedy, nor is it a plaint of sentimental, self-indulgent misery. It's the voice of rueful acceptance, as if the centuries have melted away and left us with a simple, humane message. Time doesn't stand still, so cherish every moment of joy and beauty with gratitude. The Queen of Sheba knew she would never encounter a man of Solomon's wisdom again. It's debatable whether music has ever surpassed the creative ingenuity and spiritual candor of the masterpieces of Bach and Handel either.